Another red who came riding to Whiterun from old Rorik's stead. And the braggart did swagger and brandish his blade as he told of bold battles and gold he had made. You know, there is a side benefit to playing the lute as well as I do. Uh, very nimble fingers. Perhaps I could demonstrate for you later. Well, if you change your mind, my lute is always at your service. It is our most favorite company. Fuck is he, see? Bugger that. Yes? Are you just gonna stand there all day, making love to me with those seductive eyes? Don't blame you. I've lost count of how often I've got to be biting my tongue when yet another arsehole comes along and demands you solve the problems. They're too fucking lazy to fix it for themselves. Sorry, I'm not upset with you. I'm just, I'm feeling a bit protective of you, love. Are you all right? Let's stop for the night then. Maybe find some place quiet where we can be alone, so you can relax and Ragnar let me take Red. care of all of those aches oh, and pains. Once was a hero named the Red who came riding to <laughs> that fucking bard isn't the only one with nimble fingers, you know. Mine can make a dragon purr. As he told of bold battles and gold he had made. But then he went quiet, did Ragnar the Red, when he met the shield maiden Matilda, who said... Oh, you talk and you lie and you drink all our meat. Darling. I think it's high time that you lie down and bleed. Darling, I'll give you more than so that. Clashing and slashing of steel as the brave lass Matilda charged in full of zeal. And the braggart named Ragnar was boastful no more when his ugly red head rolled around on the floor.